everybody i'm tasha with the major change group and today we're going to talk about the navy federal auto loan process so recently i got a question asking when you pay your auto loan off early do you get any penalties and so three years ago i had got my auto loan through navy federal and i had got the auto loan for twenty thousand dollars for 60 months and my monthly payment was 357 dollars and so when I had got the auto loan, I had got it for 60 months. And originally I said that I was going to pay it off in 30 months. But as I had got started paying off the loan, I was just like, you know what? I think I'm going to be able to pay it off in a year. And that's what I did. So I had actually paid off $20,000 for the auto loan in 12 months. So I had paid it off 48 months early. Now, the great thing that I do like about Navy Federal as you're making your payments, like if you start making your payments and making over the amount and, you know, making those extra payments, when you go in, you will see that your due date is like pushes out and pushes out. So one time my auto loan, I had paid so much on it. My auto loan wasn't due until like 2025 before I paid it off. <laughs> so I was like, how cool is that? But then also when you go into your Navy Federal Auto Loan profile, you can check under additional info and it's going to give you more information there too because it'll tell you how much you're paying for interest and things like that. So you have to check it out. Now at the end of the video, we're going to talk about three ways to pay off your auto loan fast or you can use this for any scenario. So when you are paying your auto loan off early with Navy Federal, there are no penalties to this. Now, I know when I had my old auto loan before I had got the auto loan with Navy Federal, you know, like when you would pay off the auto loan, it was just like you were just making a regular payment. And yes, your principal would go down, but it wouldn't push your days out. So that's why I'm saying that I really like Navy Federal because technically, you know, with you making those extra payments, if you wanted to take a break, you could, but this video is about paying the auto loan off sooner. So you're not going to get any penalties with paying off the auto loan fast. Now, the one thing is when you pay off your auto loan or when you pay off debt in general, I will say that it did decrease my credit score. I want to say maybe 10 to 15 points, but after maybe about two or three months, my credit score did go back up. So I was just like, whoa, because at that time, I think it had took my credit score maybe down to 700 or maybe like 699 or something like that. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like no. But eventually my credit score did go back up. And now I want to say my credit score is probably like almost 800. So that's kind of where I want to go to 800. So no, when you pay off your auto loan, early with Navy Federal, you don't get any penalties, but you can decrease your credit score some points, maybe 10 to 15, but as the months go on, it'll level itself back out. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, some tips on when you are paying your auto loan off early, or even you can use this for any credit card debt or any loans that you have. Now, the first thing that I did to uh, prepare myself in paying my auto loan off fast was I made sure that I created a goal. So originally I had got the auto loan for 60 months. And at first I was like, you know what? I'm going to pay the auto loan off in 30 months. But as I had got to starting to pay off the auto loan, because I believe like my first payment, I had just made like a regular payment. And then my second payment I had made like a little bit more of an extra payment. And then I just started making extra payments. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna be able to pay this auto loan off soon. And so then I had set my goal for a year. Now, another way that I was able to pay the auto loan off early was when I got extra money, I made sure to put it on a loan. So let's say March is coming up. And if you get paid, by weekly like i do for the month of march we'll get paid three times so let me know in the comments did you know about this you know they're about two to three times a year that you can get paid three times so i know for sure it's in march and so i'll get an extra check and you'll have to let me know do you think it's really an extra check i do y'all i've been doing this probably for like over 10 years probably longer than that 
So what I'll do is I'll try to at least save 90% of that check. So that's how I pay my auto loan off early because when I had, I think two times that year, I had got paid three times in the month and then I just put that 90% of that check towards the auto loan. And so, you know, you can either save it or it's not to say that you have to do 90%, but you have to see what works for you and uh, do it that way. Also, have you filed your taxes yet? You know, are you going to be getting a bonus? Do you have extra money coming in for your birthday or things like that? So really kind of sit down and think about what money do I have coming in? Because you always want to make sure to create a plan for the money because you already know when you get money, you know, when you have extra money to come in, if you don't have a plan, it's just like, you know, it's like you'll say, well, I'm going to do this. But if you don't make a plan for it, then you go to look for the money and the money is gone. You know, you're just nibbling off the money. So that's why I think it's good to consider when am I going to be getting extra money? Now, I really should have used this as the first tip, but of course, I'm going to say create a budget because I think creating a budget is going to be the main thing because one is going to let you know how much money you have coming in compared to how much money you have going out and then how much money you're going to have left over so that you will know, okay, here's my baseline of how much extra I can pay on the auto loan. So that's always going to be very important to create a budget. And you can always drop down in the description and check out my 2024 digital budget planner and, you know, so that it can help you to stay organized with creating your budget every month. But I think that that is so helpful to create a budget. And last but not least, if you need to, you can revisit your original goal and Possibly like I did when I had revisited my goal, I had actually was like, you know what? I think I'm be able to pay this auto loan off faster, but possibly maybe you're doing it too aggressively and it's stressing you out. So it's like, maybe you can pull back or see, you know, how can I make some changes in it? So I think that that's very important, <laughs> you know, to revisit your goal. But I feel like once you start and get organized and then you crunch in the numbers, I find that when I crunch the numbers, I'm always excited about it. And I always can, you know, complete the goal a whole lot faster. So let me know, what do you think in the comments? Are you going to be paying off your auto loan early or are you going to be paying off any other debt early? So I hope that you found this video helpful. Please like, subscribe, share with a friend and turn your notification bell on so you'll be notified when new content drops. I thank you so much for watching. Until next time. It's not a game.